uh, VS Code, hint, tip, and trick of the week. And this is a new one. I just found it just today, but I thought this might actually be useful for some of the stuff that we do, Brad. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Mark map. Yep. So I'm trying to figure out what the heck it does. So basically, it gives you like an uh, a diagram, like a mind map type diagram of your Markdown doc. So it can show you the different headings, subheadings, and items within it. And if I blow this up a little bit more too, if it'll let me. Just right click and open a new, a new tab on the image if you want. There you go. Oh, yeah. But it actually shows the text breakdown too. So it'll actually show you like inline text styles and everything right in the diagram. So it's pretty neat that it can do that. But sometimes when you're writing big documents, it's hard to keep track of which sections where is it under the right subheading. So that's a cool mm -hmm. little tool when you're doing um, bigger documentations for your readme files or, or even if you just use that for normal documentation, just a way to see your overall sort of outline layout structure for your Markdown doc. So kind of curious what this would look like if I ran one of our larger readme files through it. I mean, it might I, be interesting, I, but there's a zoom and a zoom out and there's a full screen and you can export the image too, as well as edit it. So, it, huh. so yeah, it looks kind of cool. I mean, for some people writing at readme docs all the time, it might be just a good way to get an overview. So anyway, I thought yeah. I'd throw it out there for you guys to check it out. But, uh, yeah, it's called Mark Map. It's actually got a pretty good five star rating. Over fifty thousand people have downloaded it and everything, and uh, you know, just one of those little tools out there you might like. So go check that out if you I'm use Mark Down. it as we speak. Yeah, and just an extra little bonus tip in here: if you're having trouble with your performance of um, VS Code. You may have too many extensions running, so it might be the wrong extension. So there's actually a way to troubleshoot that right in the extension manager itself. So um, it'll automatically try to figure out which ones are trouble, shut off a bunch of them, and then you can try working and see if it has the same problem. You can shut off some more. But it's pretty cool they added that because depending on how many you install, you know, that can be kind of crazy. You've got a whole bunch of things watching and, you know, all sorts of, you know, background processes. It might get kind of crazy in your VS Code. Um, so. All right, so how do you use this mark map? Oh, open this mark map. You just right click on the on the read, on the the MD file. Ooh. Oh, wow. Too bad I'm not set up to uh, share my screen. So I opened yeah. up by the Rabbit SDK, which is one of those projects that doesn't have its own like Ordis book. So it just has a massive readme file that just basically has all the docs kind of inside of it. And so, yeah, the... Oh, you can't... Ah, oh, I can't. How do you drag it up and down? Oh, if you, if, you, if I click on text, it just highlights text. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So it actually has all my code blocks in here. And of course, this, this document has a bunch of headings, H1s, H2s, H3s. Huh. So, yeah. Shows all my bulleted lists. So is it useful? I don't know. Like on a large <laughs> MD file, it's like so big that. I can't see anything until I zoom in. And then if I zoom in, I lose all the greater context. Uh, it's a cool little parlor trick. I don't know what I would ever use it, but um, it's, it's interesting. I, so, To be honest, it would be more useful to me if it didn't go as in-depth. Like, I don't need all the freaking code blocks in here. If I just had, like, a table of contents that just showed all the header levels, like, that yeah. would actually be more helpful to me than this, like... I mean, it's super, like, cool eye candy. But yeah. uh, it's it's a bit too much. I would rather just I would want to see all my headers, H ones, twos, and threes. Yeah, and just to like see that. Which I mean, you could you could easily fit that all if you didn't have all the the bold items and the um. Yeah, I wonder if there's an option. There are some what? configuration options. So maybe no, this way we can filterability uh, tweak that somewhat. Yeah. So, yep. For more details, you can go check out the the website for it. So. Yeah. Pretty cool. There's, yeah, there's Mac stuff, Zoom, but all right. Yeah, so maybe if I tweak some of those, I can get better what I wanted. Yeah, initial expand level, so maybe you only expand so many levels. Oh, nice. So maybe like two or three levels or something, it might do something. But isn't yeah. it fun that people can spend like hundreds of hours writing something and give it to you for free, and then we get to complain about how we don't like it? Well, the, <laughs> the interesting thing is, you know, it's just a, a little tool, and then they put it to a VS Code plugin. So, you know, I'm sure it's got a, a good point there too. So very cool. Well, that was our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. 
brought to you by Modernize and Die Podcast, CF Mountain News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizeordie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.